bearing thorough witness about God's kingdom. Dear Kingdom Proclaimer, Imagine that you are one of the apostles standing on the Mount of Olives. Jesus appears before you. Just as He is about to ascend to heaven, He says, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit arrives upon you, and you will be witnesses of Me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the most distant part of the earth. Acts 1.8 How would you react? Perhaps you would feel overwhelmed by the enormity of the task. You may wonder, how can we, a small band of disciples, possibly bear witness to the most distant part of the earth? You may recall the warning Jesus gave on the night before his death. A slave is not greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they have observed my word, they will observe yours also. But they will do all these things against you on account of my name, because they do not know him that sent me. John 15, 20 and 21 Reflecting on those words, you might ask yourself, How can I bear thorough witness in the face of such opposition and persecution? Today, we face similar questions. Our commission as Jehovah's Witnesses likewise requires that we bear thorough witness to the most distant part of the earth, to people of all the nations. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. The Jehovah's Witnesses here are comparing themselves to the disciples. But what does the word witness really mean? Let's look at the dictionary and see what it says. Okay, you see here it says to testify to, to act as a legal witness to, to have a personal or direct cognizance of, to see for oneself. Now we can see here that to be a witness, someone has to have seen the person or the event. Now the disciples, the apostles, they they saw Jesus, they were right with him, but Jehovah's Witnesses, they're witnesses of Jehovah. So let's look at the scripture that they get their name from in Isaiah. Okay, so let's look at the book of Isaiah 43.12, the Bible text that is used by the Watchtower to sustain the denomination as Jehovah's Witnesses. It says, I am the one who declared and saved and made known when there was no foreign God among you, so you are my witnesses, declares Jehovah, and I am God. So according to that scripture, we see that Jehovah allowed his own voice to personally be heard directly by the faithful men of the antiquity, so that they could then go give testimony to the people of his verbal mandates as Jehovah's witnesses. Today, the eight million members of the Watchtower Society cannot be Jehovah's witnesses since none of them have seen or heard or spoken to Jehovah as the prophets and faithful men did. They can't give testimony of having seen or heard Jehovah God giving his mandates personally firsthand to them. So that is why Jesus Christ never told his followers that they were Jehovah's Witnesses, because he knew that none of them had seen or heard his father. Jesus' followers and those who saw Jesus preaching personally were genuine witnesses of Jesus, but not of Jehovah. According to the dictionary, no one can be witness of something or someone that he has not seen or heard or spoken to. If that person is, then they can't properly be said to be a witness. Many times, Witnesses are called in a court of law to give their testimony of what they have seen or heard on a particular case that is being judged in court. The witness cannot give testimony of something that he has not seen or heard with his own eyes or ears, and much less testify something that another person has told to that witness about the matter. If that were the case, then that person would be dismissed because they wouldn't be an authentic witness in the court of law. This proves that Jesus could never have called his true church Jehovah's Witnesses. Jesus told his followers who accompanied him that they, and only them, would be his witnesses.
and they would go out and witness to the world because they were personally watching and listening to Jesus preach, and they were able to testify that to others later on. Many times Jehovah's Witnesses come to my videos and they comment and say, Jehovah's Witnesses are not a cult. They are the one true religion. We're the only ones who use the true name of God and we get, testify to Jehovah. We're his witnesses. But as you can see, Jehovah's Witnesses are a cult because of their false teachings. They teach something other than what Jesus taught. And also because... They have a incorrect name. Jesus would never have said that that name was correct for his true church. So just something to think about. Thank you for watching.